Okay, let's see some work on Pythagoras' theorem. So just reviewing the labeling of right angle triangles. So we call the longest side here hypotenuse, and then we have the two shorter sides. We label hypotenuse C and the two shorter sides A and B. And Pythagoras' theorem states that C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So Pythagoras' theorem is finding uh, gives you a way of finding the missing side of a right angle triangle given the other two. So you've got this formula here, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Okay, here's a question. For the triangle on the right, calculate the length of the hypotenuse x to one decimal place. So let's write down our formula. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And let's label our three sides. So C is X and A will equal 5 and B will equal 8. So in that case, the missing side that we're after, which is X, X squared will equal 5 squared plus 8 squared. X squared will equal 25 plus 64. X squared will equal 89. X will therefore be the square root of 89. Okay, so let's have a look at the square root of 89. We can work that out on our calculator quite easily. So I'll just do that. So the square root of 89 so 89 and square root is 9.43 to the nearest couple of decimal places. So x equals 9.43. So there we go. There's our first example using Pythagoras' theorem, how we can find out the missing side, the hypotenuse. Okay, sometimes a question will involve finding one of the shorter sides, okay, and you're actually given the hypotenuse. And you can change your formula around either to a squared equals c squared minus b squared or b squared equals c squared minus a squared. But to simplify it, if you're looking at one of the shorter sides, you square the hypotenuse and then subtract the square of the other side. So here, let's label our triangle again. Our C is 14. We'll call 8 centimetres our B, and our missing side will be A. So on this occasion, A, if we look at uh, this formula here, A squared equals C squared minus B squared. So A squared equals, C is 14, so it's 14 squared minus 8 squared. A squared, 14 squared, is going to be 196. Minus 8 squared, which is 64. A squared equals 132. A will therefore be the square root of 132. So working that out on our calculator. It's going to be 11.49. So A equals 11.49. There we go. So there's two examples. Here we're finding the hypotenuse, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Here we're finding one of the shorter sides. So it's the hypotenuse squared minus the other side squared. Okay, here's a practical question. A ladder that is 5.5 metres long leans up against a vertical wall. The foot of the ladder is 1.5 metres from the wall. How far up the wall does the ladder reach? Okay, so let's draw ourselves a wall. Then let's draw ourselves a ladder going up the wall. 
and then we'll draw in the ground here as well. There we go. So a ladder is 5.5 metres long. So we'll label the ladder 5.5 metres. And the foot of the ladder, which is here, is 1.5 metres from the wall, which is here. So that will be 1.5. How far up the wall does the ladder reach? Okay, so we're trying to find this here. Okay, and we'll call it A. So, as with our formulas we saw before, C equals 5.5, B will equal 1.5. So using our formula, A squared equals C squared minus B squared, A squared equals 5.5 squared minus 1.5 squared, A squared equals, okay, so 5.5 squared minus 1.5 squared. Let's work that out. So 5.5 squared minus 1.5 squared. So we get uh, 28. 0.5 squared. Okay, so that's going to be 28. A is therefore the square root of 28. So square root of 28 is 5.29. Now we've got a practical question here, so we must put our units in. It'll be 5.29 metres. And in hindsight, it might have been nice to put a metres there and a metres there as well. So there we go, there's an introduction to Pythagoras' theorem, a couple of different scenarios and then a practical question. Good luck with it. Bye for now.